In this video, we'll go through a typical debugging session using Rookout. In a debugging session, a developer will connect to a source code repository, select filters in order to target specific services or servers where they'd like to collect data from, and then set non-breaking breakpoints in order to collect snapshots of data. We'll also look at how to save the debug session configuration using a bookmark. Let's take a look. To start, you'll want to make sure you're in the debugger view by clicking on the debugger icon from the left-hand menu. The first step is connecting your source code repository. It's important to note that when you connect or associate your application source code with your debug session, Rookout is never able to see your source code. They're loaded locally within your browser for the purpose of telling Rookout the line of code where you'd like to set a data collection point, also known as a non-breaking breakpoint. Click the plus button and select your repository type. In this case, we'll choose GitHub. If connecting for the first time, you'll be asked to authenticate. In this case, I've already authenticated. Select the organization or owner, choose the repository, and select the specific branch or commit you'd like to use. In this case, we'll use the master branch. Finally, click the Add Repository button, and we'll see the repository link to our project. Existing source code repositories can be edited or removed by clicking on the three dots to the right of the repository name. Next, we'll take a look at filters. When you install the Rookout SDK, you have the ability to specify a label using the Rookout underscore labels environment variable, which is a key value pair that can be used to tell Rookout which of your application instances or services you'd like to collect data from. For example, you may have deployed the Rookout SDK along with your application in staging and production and tagged each of those instances with a different label. From within Rookout, to adjust the filter for your project, select one of the filters that show up in the drop-down list. There are also built-in filters which you can use such as host name, process name, and more. In this case, we'll select a label called Tasks Multi-Infra. Now we can click on the Let's Go button to begin our debugging session. Notice that Rookout also auto-loaded a repository for us. When deploying the Rookout SDK, you can set the Rookout underscore commit and Rookout underscore remote origin environment variables for your Git repository and commit that you're using and Rookout will automatically connect to the repository with the right branch or commit selected. We can then open up a source code file and set a non-breaking breakpoint to begin collecting data from a running application. Lastly, we may want to save the state of this debug session using a bookmark. To do that, click on the gear icon in the top left of the screen to re-edit the configuration of our debug session. Click on the bookmark icon, give the bookmark a name, and click Save. The set of filters that have been selected, as well as the connected source code repositories, will be saved as part of the bookmark. Now anytime you want to revisit this configuration and debug your application, you simply select the Save Bookmark from the Bookmark drop-down menu. For more information on how Rookout can add value to your development workflow, or to start a trial, visit us at rookout.com.